Hey, welcome to our Windows 7 How-To's Tips and Tricks series here. Uh, this one is a little more advanced, and I must warn you before you continue, uh, take no responsibility for how you screw up your computer when you follow these instructions, because uh, sometimes things can go awry when you are changing the size of a partition on your computer. So be prepared for that. Make sure that all of your files are backed up and you have everything squared away before trying to adjust the partition on your PC. Uh, you may want to shrink the partition size of your Windows 7 partition because you want to try adding another operating system or you simply want to divide things up on your PC across different partitions. It's actually quite easy to shrink the size of the partition on your Windows 7 volume without having to go to third-party utilities. I'll show you exactly how you do that right now. Uh, go to the Start button and go ahead and click on Control Panel. And then in that search control panel box up there in the upper right, you're going to type in the word partition. And what, it's going to leave you with one option. And that option is to create and format hard disk partitions under administrative tools. So go ahead and click that. Now this is going to bring up the disk management software that is built in to Windows 7. Uh, now up here you see the various volumes that are available to you and the partitions located down here. Uh, in order to shrink the partition, it's actually quite simple. Simply click, right click on the partition that you want to change the size of, go down to shrink volume and click on shrink volume. It's going to very quickly uh, examine that volume to see exactly what the size and information about the partition is. And then it's going to come up with the option to actually shrink the partition. Now, it's going to say the total size before shrink. It's going to give you the size available to shrink. Of course, uh, you may also want to look into defragmenting your hard drive before you do this because if there is data located elsewhere, it's not going to move that data and won't be able to shrink that volume as far as you want to. Uh, you enter the amount that you want to shrink. So we're going to go ahead and do the maximum size after. It's going to say the size after it, and you click on shrink and what it's going to do now is it's actually going to repartition that drive into multiple partitions now once you're done with this if you decide you want to go back you simply go in and you click on extend partition and you can extend that same partition back to where it was or to whatever size that you like as you can see right here we do now have two partitions of our drive one formatted as ntfs one unallocated, unformatted, it can be used for anything you like, uh, installing different operating systems, trying different stuff out. And then of course, again, if you want to extend it, you simply right click, click on extend volume, it will bring up the extend volume wizard. You can see what you want to extend it to right here. Put in the total volume size in megabytes, the maximum available space in megabytes and in the available and the amount of space you want to fill. Once you do that, Go ahead and click on next. It will actually reallocate that space however you see fit. So you can actually shrink and extend the size of your Windows 7 partitions without actually having to invest in extra software. All that functionality is built right into the disk management utility in Windows 7. So that's how you shrink a volume in Windows 7 without using any third extra third-party utilities.